All right, time for a check on the weather. And guess what? It is Cyber Monday right now. Vanessa Murdoch <laughs> is in. Today was a good day to shop from home online. I know. I mean, <laughs> listen, with the rain falling out there, no better place to be than in the comfort of your own mm -hmm. home. And I think perhaps that trend will carry forward into portions of the work week as temperatures dip with feels likes in the teens and low 20s. Now, as we're on the subject of cold weather, this a fun fact from the National Weather Service. We're setting records in Central Park, a new snowfall record for the most consecutive days with less than an inch of snowfall. 650 days straight, we've had less than an inch of snow. The previous record stood at 383 days. And in case you're curious, the last snowfall with more than an inch fell on February the 13th of 2022. Are you hoping for big snow this winter? Well, there's none of any substance in the near future. I'll say that. As we look live outside, though, there's plenty of rain falling. It is making its exit, though. It's lifting off to the north. It's 55 degrees right now. Winds are out of the south, southeast at 17. Breezy through the overnight and breezy for the next several days. As we look at your headlines, the rain will be winding down. It's gone by that morning commute, and then it turns windy and cold. The winds will usher in Arctic air. Rainfall so far impressive. Randolph, New Jersey, picking up nearly two inches on the flip side the park under a quarter of an inch so we will leave autumn as the fourth wettest on record that is what is likely with the approach of 21 inches for the season the temperature trend check it out as we look forward in the forecast things are a little bit wonky because of the time change but just note between monday and tuesday temperatures will be crashing fronts are passing through the region and arctic air will be diving in your high temperature tomorrow afternoon will be in the upper 40s and then by Wednesday, the high will only be, excuse me, Tuesday, high will only be in the upper 30s. So a big drop off between tomorrow and Tuesday. Same time, the winds will be cranking, making it feel like the 20s and 30s. So let's check out the wind gust. This will be bringing the feels like temperatures down tomorrow morning. Breezy out there. Winds gusting to 25 by afternoon. Similar story. So a breezy Monday, but amplified winds even more on Tuesday. Winds Tuesday afternoon gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. Hour, and this coincides with the coldest day of the week, and that's why it will feel like the teens and 20s, yes, on Tuesday morning. Tomorrow afternoon, again, temperatures in the upper 40s will be bright and breezy tomorrow. Slim chance of a lake effect snow shower well north of the city. And then Tuesday morning, when you step outside with the Arctic air in place, the winds cranking, it feels like 22 in the city, 21 in Poughkeepsie, 19 in Freehold, and 14 in Monticello. Checking out your extended forecast. As we make our way through the work week, we will expect, yes, these cold temperatures to stick around Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 30s. That's about 10 degrees below normal, and the winds make it feel like the 20s and low 30s both those days. Thursday, we start to recover. Things are looking okay, closer to seasonable, and then we'll have some shower activity Friday, Saturday, into mm. Sunday as well. That's rain, Saturday rain. Activity. <laughs> <You're making laughs> exactly. It All right, Vanessa, thank you.